Greetings, and if I got something exciting to show today, at least it's super exciting to me, this is a Tandy keyboard. And not just that, but I got a mouse to go along with it because I cannot hold myself back. So as soon as I saw these in a local Radio Shack, and yes, they still exist, they came back from bankruptcy. Ugh, yeah, I saw these on the shelf, could not say no. That Tandy logo, man. Not just nostalgic, but I just think it's cool. I mean, it's just a cool looking logo. And the fact that they brought it back at all is a fantastic thing to me. So in case you're not aware, Tandy was Radio Shack's in-house brand for decades. I mean, in the late 70s and into the 80s, you had the Tandy Radio Shack 80 line of computers, the TRS-80. And then, of course, probably more famously for a lot of people with these Tandy 1000 series of computers and they were personal computers, IBM PC compatible for the most part, especially the later ones. And I've talked about these several times in the past here at LGR, but I love this brand just for a nostalgic reason. And they just made some really cool computers and dang it, they have a cool understated dandy tandy logo. But as far as I know, this brand hasn't really been around since, I don't know, the 90s, 94 or something? I, it's been a long time, I guess, as part of their restructuring after their return from bankruptcy, they've brought it back for some computer products in stores once again here in 2017. So the mouse, well, this costs $15. So it's a wireless mouse. Uh, we're gonna check it out, see what it is like. It is, of course, just a USB mouse. I mean, there's nothing really special about it except for that Tandy brand. And I liked the red. They had it available in other colors, but I couldn't say no to red. And then, of course, there's the Tandy wireless keyboard here, which again, pretty standard stuff. Just a regular PC, whatever compatible. Um, I mean, it's USB, but it's got, it's got Tandy on there. And it also has this nice brown accent along the box. I, <laughs> I can't help but think that is maybe some sort of uh, other throwback to just like old school stuff. And speaking of old school, Tandy is not the only brand that Radio Shack brought back from the dead. They have recently resurrected their realistic brand for uh, their in-house audio products. Now it's for Bluetooth devices. So those little pill speakers and some headsets and whatnot. I wasn't interested in those. They're a bit, I, I don't know. Not a really big fan of realistic anyway, but Tandy, ah, oh, yeah, could not say no to that. Let's open this thing up and see what you get. Cause I'm curious about the quality of this, especially since it was so cheap. So I've got a little uh, thingy right here. Um, oh, I guess that's the dongle. I will need that. For plugging it in and a useless little instruction manual. But even then, I'm kind of curious what that says. And here we go. Look, there's a Tandy keyboard right here. I'm definitely keeping that box. That is super cool. Right. I mean, it's just a, it's just a keyboard, a little chiclet keyboard. You know, honestly, it doesn't feel as cheap as I thought it would. It feels all right. But at the same time, I'm not a really big fan of this style of keyboard, so whatever. But it's that Tandy logo. I mean, look at that, that right there. That is sexy to me. White on black. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just a keyboard. All right, cool. Well, that's the thing. I'll try it out here in a moment. And let's try out also, not try out, let's open up the Tandy wireless optical mouse. Yep, that's pretty typical. There's something in here, and yeah, another little manual thingy. What did the manual even say? Plug it in? Uh, yeah, it just, just says plug it in. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, well here's the mouse, and well, right away, that feels kind of terrible. Um, but I mean, it seems like it should work. I mean, it's a mouse. Too small though. Also just really uh, cheap. I mean like ridiculously cheap feeling like. Oh God, is it already coming apart? Yeah, well, don't do that. Um, <laughs> it's a cheap mouse, that's okay. It does look like it has a little bit of uh, sensitivity adjustment here on the bottom, it has high, low and off, that's cool. It's optical and of course being wireless, it is battery powered. Double, uh, no, triple A's. Makes sense. All right, well, I'm gonna plug both of these into uh, one of my computers and uh, see what you get. Got the little dongle right there, too. All right, so I got these two uh, loaded up with batteries. I'm gonna turn on the mouse here as I just blinded myself with the optical. And uh, I don't know how to turn this on. Maybe it's already on, whatever. So let's plug in these dongles. And you know, I don't know if I said it earlier, but Radio Shack is totally not like sponsoring me for this or anything. I just went in there and I thought it was freaking cool. 
There's one of them. There's both of them. So, move the DOS keyboard and Ducky Secret Mouse out of the way. We've got the keyboard here, which, all right, that is working. And so is uh, the mouse. Sweet. That's really sensitive. Holy crap, that's even more sensitive. Well, it's sensitive either way, but the lower sensitivity, I can work with that. I can obviously mess around with it and get it, you know, fine in Windows, but I don't want to do that. I want to run DOS. So we've got a DOS box open here because it feels appropriate for Tandy. Uh, let's open edit here and see what it is like to type on. What is, oh my word, that is mushy. <laughs> like, like, that is not a satisfying keyboard, my word. It's very quiet, but it's like pressing down on plastic bags. Uh, I'm not very fond of this. I could get used to it, but... Ew. Just what a gummy thing. Well, that is about what I expected. It's just a typical cheap $20 wireless keyboard. Um, you'd expect to find this for like eight bucks if it weren't wireless. As for the mouse, though, I mean, I don't know. It feels cheaper than this does, the keyboard, but uh, it actually, in a very satisfying click. Too small, obviously, for my hands. I pre much prefer my ducky secret or anything slightly larger like that, but, I mean, even the side buttons feel okay. Mouse wheel feels good. Middle click is, middle click is a little heavy. Whatever, man. Okay, let's, let's get out of here and uh, let's try a little bit of Doom 2, because that's something we've always got to do in here. <laughs> Tandy, 2017 hardware, playing Doom 2, ultraviolence. All right, give me that chainsaw, man. Yeah. <laughs> Man, other than that mushy keyboard, I mean, this is a totally acceptable <laughs> thing uh, for playing Doom 2. But really, what isn't? I mean, as long as, long as you can play Doom 2, you should, regardless of your hardware. As they say, the best thing for playing Doom 2 is the thing you have. Whether it be a, a nice mechanical keyboard. Oh, I missed this already. It feels so good. <sighs> or a piece of crap. <clears throat> but, you know, even the piece of crap lets you play Doom 2, which is uh, better than not having any crap at all. I gotta say, that is patently terrible, though. That feeling is... In fact, the whole... You know, I'm just surprised that it doesn't feel like I had the Razer Deathstalker that I covered a while back, which is a very similar kind of crappy thing. And, uh, you know, that had better key feel. That was all right with the response and whatnot. This just feels so bad. But like build quality wise, it's not the worst. Um, whoops, I opened the calculator. I guess the calculator button works. So let me just keep that going. Uh, how many calculator instances can I open with this? Uh, that is the set of Tandy things sold by Radio Shack these days, which is, um, you know, honestly, I don't recommend either one of them. But if you'd like the logo like I do and you're stupid, then uh, perhaps you would like to uh, grab them. And for like 35 bucks, I thought it was a fun little time waster. If anything, just to have those packages with the Tandy logos on them, that makes me happy. I guess the calculator doesn't open infinitely, does it? It just keeps opening until, you know, and then it's like, nope, no more of those. I can't get over how bad that feels. Oh my word. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.